Hello everyone, in this video, we're gonna learn how to solve this math Olympiad problem. Given a equals square root of 7 minus square root of 7 plus square root of 7 minus square root of 7 plus etc. What is the value of A? So, we need to know a trick how to solve this problem, otherwise it takes you forever to solve this problem. Observe that square root of 7 minus square root of 7 keep repeating. Alright, so we let m equals square root of 7 minus square root of 7. Plus, etc. Alright. So then, you see that this guy right here, also M. So we have M must be greater than 0 because square root of any number right here should be greater than 0. And then, less than square root of 7 because square root of 7 subtracts something. Alright, so this is the domain of this. Now we have m equals square root of 7 minus square root of 7 and you see that, right, square root of 7 minus square root of 7 keeps repeating. And then it turns out to be plus m right here. Okay, because m equals square root of 7 minus square root of 7 plus something. Alright, so we're going to square both sides. It turns out to be m square equals 7 minus square root of 7 plus m. Alright, so it turns out to be square root of 7 plus m equals 7 minus m square. Now we're gonna square both sides. So this guy's square. This guy square. Alright, so it turns out to be 7 plus m equals 49 minus 14 m square plus m to the power of 4. Now we need to rearrange this polynomial. So it turns out to be m to the fourth minus 14m square minus m plus 42 equals 0. Alright, so we need to use the rational root theorem to solve this equation. Alright, so Take 42, divide by 1, it's going to be 42. And then we need to find the factor of 42. So factor of 42 is going to be equal to 21. Second, negative 2, negative 21. 3, 14. Negative 3, negative 14. Now, we need to try this to see if this is solution. If not, we're going to move on to negative 2. Alright, so we're using that at division. Alright, so we put 2 right here. Alright, now right here we put 1 coefficient of m to the fourth. There is no coefficient of m cubed, so we're going to put 0 right here. Coefficient of m squared is going to be negative 14. Coefficient of negative m should be negative 1. Coefficient of, uh, this is constant, so it's going to be 42. Alright, first you need to print the number 1 down. Now, we follow the, the V-shape rule. What does that mean? This is multiply. This is, uh, you have a number right here. You have a number right here. You have a number right here. Alright, so 2 times 1, look, times, and then add, add 0. 
2 times 1 is going to be 2, and 0 is going to be 2. Now, next one, 2 times 2 is going to be 4, and negative 14 is going to be negative 10. 2 times negative 10 is going to be negative 20, and negative 1 is going to be negative 21. 2 times negative 21 is going to be negative 42. And 42 is going to be 0. Here you see the final number right here. 0 and then 2 must be a solution. Now you need to write M minus 2. Change the size of this number. Times M cubed plus 2 M square minus 10 m minus 21 equals 0 all right now we need to factor this one one more time right here okay we're going to use another synthetic division all right we're going to put mq right here coefficient is 1 we put 1 right here m square coefficient 2, we put 2, m negative 10, and then constant negative 21. Alright, so we see that the constant right here 21, coefficient right here 1, 21 divided by 1 is going to be 21. Okay, we need to find factor of 21. So the first one should be 3, 7, second one negative 3, negative 7. Now we're gonna try 3 first. We put 3 right here. Alright, so we put 1 right here. 3 times 1 plus 2. It's gonna be 5. 3 times 5 is gonna be 15 minus 10. It's gonna be 5. 3 times 5 minus 21. It's gonna be negative 6. So 3 is not a solution. We're gonna try negative 3. So we're going to put 1, 2, negative 10, negative 21. And this could be negative 3 right here. Bring 1 down. Negative 3 times 1, negative 3, plus 2, negative 1. Negative 3 times negative 1 is going to be 3. Plus negative 10 is going to be negative 7. Negative 3 times negative 7 is going to be 21. Plus negative 21 is going to be 0. Then negative 3 should be a solution. So we're going to factor this one one more time. So it could be m minus 2 times. Change the side of negative 3. It should be plus 3. So m plus 3. Alright. Multiply by this one. Turns out to be m square minus m minus 7. Bring it over here. m square minus m minus 7 equals 0. Alright, so it turns out to be m minus 2 equals 0, m equals 2. m plus 3 equals 0, so m equals negative 3. For this one, we need to solve this to find m. Alright, so it turns out to be m square minus m minus 7 equals 0. Alright, we're going to complete the square. So it turns out to be m square minus m plus 1, 4 minus 7 minus 1, 4 equals 0. Alright, so m minus 1 half square minus Negative 7 minus 1 fourth. So it turns out to be negative 29 over 4 equals 0. Alright, so m minus 1 half square equals 29 over 4. Alright, so now we're going to take square root both sides. So it turns out to be m minus one half equals square root of 29 over 2 and then m minus one half equals negative square root of 29 over 2 
All right, so we solve this one. It turns out to be m equals square root of 29 over 2 plus 1 half. And this guy's m equals square root of 29 over 2 plus 1 half. Now, observe that the domain of m it should be from 0 to root 7. This guy greater than root 7. This guy less than 0. So, this case, there is no solution for this one. Now, m equals negative 3, which is outside the domain. So, this is not a solution. Alright, only m equal 2 is a solution. Then, a must be equal to and it's a good time to stop. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember that if you fail failing to prepare, you're preparing to fail. We rise like tall buildings As the chemicals they take us higher The night's young and it's just begun she puts her hand